Number one swarm of the season, April the 4th, 82 degrees, storm coming in tonight. Naturally, drones can't come in or out, but more importantly, the queen, she can't come out. So if we've got that old overwintered queen in there, she's stuck. She won't be able to get her hind in through those bars. April 4th, this is the first swarm of right before a storm coming through. That's a big swarm. That is a dandy swarm. Probably a deep and a medium worth, but they're gonna have to go in this deep for tonight. Everything's got foundation with the exception of this one. It's half a frame of comb. I loaded it with Pro Sweet. Of course, whatever these bees brought with them from the hive is in there. I'm not gonna I don't really want to cut the limb because the next swarm that comes out stands a great chance to hit it if they don't go get in the swarm trap. But I've got a limb right here that I really need to cut so that I can make it a, a clean transition when I knock the limb off. If I can get 90%, um, the rest can go in this box. I, I've been standing here for quite a bit of time. I've seen no drones, none on this whole hmm. swarm and I have not seen a virgin queen. I've not seen a queen. So, you know, planning on the fact that she's, you know, buried up down in here. Um, as Corinne said, we got, a, I guess, a, a low or high pressure. I, I'm not a weatherman. What, whichever it is tends to push on these bees that are ready to go. As she said, this is the first, first swarm in, in either of our yards. Uh, you saw us, or you will see us. We've split Cora's bees. Um, these just didn't wait. The box was just rolling full. Um, it was just, it was just time. So, come home from work, and this is what's here, and we're gonna put them in the box. This is the setup. One frame, half comb, got Pro Suite in it. Bees are already going in and and feeding frame setting out to fill the remainder of the box what's going to happen is is when all these bees go in this box they're going to be about that deep in the floor i'm going to just put frames in on top of them let the, as the frames are settling i'm going to get an inner cover put it on top put the outer cover on i have installed a queen guard in the front that's why i want to really make sure that i get the 90 percent um, in there in hopes that i get the queen you know, if there's one, two, or 10 queens in this form, they can work it out behind that guard. Um, so, storm coming. Don't know exactly when, but the wind has increased greatly since I've been here. Um, let's just get started. Corey, you just gonna, you know, go without your veil no, and jacket? No, I, I told her she had to have a jacket on. Oh no, you gonna put a jacket on or you gonna, what are you gonna do? I think Cora would have jumped right in the middle of these. Without wearing the jacket. Without wearing her jacket, protective gear. I know where that comes from. It's not her mama. And that's that's all okay. But better safe than sorry, typically. I don't see these bees. Front of these storms, mm -hmm. so better safe than sorry. All right, you want to get where you can see and have your chocos under the edge of the bucket buggy over there? Yeah, I just I kind of wanted to watch see this entrance guard, but I don't want to step in those fire ants. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll come around and I'll stand in the fire ants. <laughs> You and may this over is here the on the other side. That I want to remove first. Mm -hmm. Bees off of that and right in there.
all I'm gonna do is just clear enough to make those beads release easier when I shake them. Mm. They got frames laying everywhere, so bees are getting on them. This one got a limb running down in them. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, where'd you decide you wanted to be for best exposure? Uh, I think I'll just stay right here. Okay. Is that good? Well. Or you need me to move? No, I'm just determining if I want to be up in the buggy or leaning over the buggy. Ooh. Sorry. Y'all are going to love it here. <laughs> yeah, you will. You're going to love it here. You're going to wait on Cora? I don't think she... I think she said I'm going. I don't think she meant I'm going and getting a jacket. Oh. I could be wrong. How big... Will that just mess up the world if I pull them right out of that clump and cut that off? to go. I'm going to go ahead and lit them. If she's in there, I don't want her to come up out of there. Come on, get down off there. Cora would not like me smashing you. Okay, push that back now. Alright, we got the vast majority of that. I'd call that 90%, wouldn't you? And here's the deal, Leo. We want to see what bees are in the buggy. So, Corinne, if you'll just kind of search along, look for a queen. I've got a queen clip in my pocket. In case during all that coming part, we drop her. And we get lucky enough to find her before she flies back to that limb. Bunches and bunches of bees. I don't know, that all went fairly have, good. Fairly good. I mean, if you think about how many bees there were, there's not a whole lot. Not in that box. I think we caught them off guard. They were tight. They knew they were fixing to ride that storm. We caught them off guard. If I push this back, if I got bees, I'm going to squish. No. Take that about right there so I can see these bees. Bees are fanning on the entrance. That doesn't always, that, all, that just... They're, they're passing along the knowledge that she's in there. These bees are coming up to them. I mean, I don't see a virgin queen. I don't see a big queen. Feeling pretty good about all that. There's not a big bag of bees under the machine. 
fishing. These bees are coming in, it's gonna be scouts and bees are looking for where the mass went. Here's a little clump around on your side on the back of the box. Can you see anything in this mess? They're coming, mm -hmm. they're coming to this now, so. Yeah. All right, if they could all be this easy. I've seen this last, mm -hmm. <laughs> this battle go on and ensue for hours, but I think they were tight enough, storm locked enough that uh, when I shook them, Did they you? went in the box. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm feeling confident that she's in there. Did you explain what the guard was? All right. This this is a queen entrance guard. I installed it. I just set it in there. Push two nails down. One on this end. One on this end, so that it's tight. Naturally, drones can't come in or out. But more importantly, the queen she can't come out. So if we've got that old overwintered queen in there, she's stuck. She won't be able to get her hind in through those bars. If we got virgin queens in there, yes, they could come through. Grant and I have done this before and had queens come trying to get down in. and land and trying to go in with them. And the old one be walking the walking the rail trying to come out. Um, you know, very, very few bees were, were harmed in that little event. I'm uh, super grateful to get them, to get them in a box. And that will make a strong bunch of bees right there. That, that will be a honey producer this year. If they're treated right, they'll need feet put on them after everything's calm and, and they're locked in. And, and of course, all these bees are carrying feed enough to, to pull comb. And, uh, that's it. Number one, number one swarm of the season. April the fourth. 82 degrees. Storm coming in tonight. I'm gonna pull the the buggy up. Set these bees out on blocks. Um, it went well, it went very well. Appreciate y'all watching until we see you again. Roll that beautiful beef. <laughs>